Hi there stampers, this is Michelle Suit, um, back with another video tutorial. This one is a stocking gift card holder. It's made using the stocking builder uh, die for the big shot from Stampin' Up! And it has a little slot on the inside, a little space available to put your gift card in. I have another version of it here for you. You can kind of see this one's made with the well-worn DSP paper, designer series paper. A little bit of River Rock cardstock. And this one has the gift card in the little slot here. Really simple to do, really quick, and a really great gift for someone. So I'm going to be showing you today how to make these little gifts. So stay tuned for all the details. Here we go. Okie doke, I'm going to show you now what we're going to do. We're going to cut our pieces on the big shot for our stocking gift card holder. Now, you can use just about any of the uh, big shot dies if you fold your cardstock over and drop it down just below the cut line on the top edge you can uh, have a nice folded card it's like the scallop square scallop circle they make beautiful cards you just come down a little below that line so what I did for the stocking first of all you can see I kind of sketched around the outside of the pieces that are cut on this die and be careful, these blades down in those little cracks down there are very sharp, so don't press down on them. What I did was I cut a piece of cardstock, a piece of 8.5 by 11, and I folded it in half and cut off a part. It's only 6 inches wide, so it's going to fit on my die. Now, I have the fold on this side right here, and it's going to come up, and it's going to go just below the cut line there. You see that? Don't put it all the way up or you'll get two stockings cut. We don't want that. We want one nicely folded over stocking. Now, we have it cut. I'm also, while I have this on here, I have another little piece of river rock that I cut that's going to fit down here and cut out that top cuff for my stocking. I'm just going to lay that on there. Remember now, when you use these dies, you can cut up to seven layers at a time. So don't be shy. They will cut through. They cut cork and they cut fabric beautifully for all you quilters out there. So anyway, here we go. So we've got that crease line right there. I've got all my parts and pieces on there. Now I just need to make the sandwich. So I put one of my cutting plates on top, one of my cutting plates on the bottom. You remove this. So I have my sandwich all ready to go. It's going to go in with the image facing up and crank it through. I have a slippery table here. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Let's see what we've got. We've got, we're going to have extras of these and of course we keep them because I'm going to make so many gift card holders. So I have the toes my trash out of the way. I have two pieces for the heels right there. I have one beautiful cuff for the top right here. And here's my stocking. Beautifully cut, folded, and all ready to craft. On. Alrighty, now I want to cut the front piece for my stocking that's going to be the nice decorative color on the front. Uh, this too, this piece of paper here is also comes from the well-worn DSP. Love, love, love this pack of stuff. Just beautiful. It looks really vintagey. Just, just makes my day happy. Uh, we're going to use this pattern for this stocking. So what I'm going to do is I cut a piece that's six inches wide. I just want to be able to have a little to get to the edges. And I'm going to turn it facing down because I want this to be the right side of my stocking. So I put that facing down and I will make my sandwich. Put that on top, other cutting plate on the bottom. We're going to run it through the big shot. There we go. Quick and simple. Now, extra pieces for more gift card holders. Love it. Alrighty there is my beautiful stocking front. Alright, so this will look lovely right here, adhered on the front. Okie doke, let's put our big shot aside. Now, 
What I'm going to do next is I'm going to adhere, take a little snail and adhere this to my stocking card, right like so. Beautiful. And then I want to make it have a little bit of dimension on these edges. Give it a little attitude. So I'm going to take my early espresso ink and a sponge and I'm going to ink up my sponge and I'm going to go around the edges just lightly. Oh, I don't really need to do the top edge because I'm going to put a nice cuff on there. <laughs> anyway, we will go around and make this have a little bit of a shadow, give it a little, little dimension, little attitude. Like so. Alrighty. Then what you will do is you will set that aside and you will take your pieces of river rock that are going to be adhered onto um, your stocking. And you're going to do the same thing to these guys. You're going to go around the edge. And you can decide if you want a little bit or a lot. Sometimes I get a little heavy handed, but that's okay. It was meant to be that way. <laughs> Artistic artistic preference, right? Oops, that one looks like I cut it a little short. Here we go. Let's do this one. That's why you have extra. So go around the edges on these guys like so. And then these guys will get adhered to my stocking. So put a little snail on these guys. Get them right on there. Oops. There we go this little guy right here for the heel will go right here like that perfect all right so now we can set this aside for okay. a little bit so i've gone ahead and, and adhered my cuff to my stocking i what i did with mine you can do lots of different things for your designs on the top of your cuff I used two stamps from one of my fav favorite stamp sets. Favorite! It's a new one called Christmas Lodge. It just came out in the 2011 Holiday Mini. Love this set. Love this cabin. So many cute, cute designs with it. But what I did with this, I used the little birds with the little branch here. I stamped an early espresso, went off the edge just a little bit, and I stamped it again over here just to get a little bit of a branch to frame it off. Then I used the Merry Christmas stamp and stamped across here. Now, what I did on mine, on this one, was I used another stamp. This is the Two From stamp from the new Dear Santa set. It's got some really great designs on it, little tidbits you can use to add a little personality. Now, Dear Santa looks really cute up here on a cuff, so just an idea for you. But I used this one and um, Put the two from on the inside of this card so your gift card fits in the slot and it's the perfect little fit. Alright, so went ahead and did that and I sponged the edges of my cuff and adhered it to the stocking. And then you'll notice, I'm going to show you how I did this little monogram. Really simple, and really stinking cute, I can't even tell you. Thank you to my friend Robin Merriman because she was my inspiration on that one. All right. I, on, what I'm going to do for this one, I took a little piece of early espresso cardstock and I put it into my one of my little designer frame embossing folders. This one I've already embossed it on my big shot for you. These guys, there's two of these in a pack. This one in a rectangle, love them. I can't, couldn't imagine I would use them as much as I have already. So anyway, I ran a piece of early espresso through, came out with that oval medallion beautiful be beautiful then what I did was I took my scissors and I cut around the uh, outside of the dots just following it as a line so then we're going to take that once we have it cut out we're just going to adhere that to our stocking wherever you would like scoot it over just a little bit then what I'm going to do I have a scrap of very vanilla cardstock here. I want to make a monogram. So I need my oval punch 
and this fits perfectly inside that oval from the designer frame. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp a monogram right about here. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my punch and I'm going to punch it out. And there you have your monogram. Now, I love dimensionals, love them. So I have to pop this up a little bit just to get a little, a little attitude. So I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals on here. You know, they work out to just like a penny a piece. So don't be shy, add those dimensionals. Alrighty. So I'm gonna put my monogram right in here. And there you have it. And I'm going to add a little bow with my Early Espresso Quilted Ribbon. And I will show you how to do that. Really easy way to, to make your bow. One day I'll, uh, I'll have to put a link on here. My friend Robin did an awesome tutorial for, uh, for making these easy little bows. So we just tie a quick little bow. On my, uh, on my other one, I added a little vintage brad. You can add a little bling or pearls or whatever you'd like. So there's my bow. And this is going to get adhered right here to the front. Alrighty. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do the inside. Do the little gift card holder on the inside. So let's look at that. Okay, now for the inside of your gift card holder you're going to make a little pocket that's going to hold your gift card. Really simple and like I was telling you about the dies before, this is great to use on lots of different shaped cards. So try this technique. Trust me, you're going to love it. Um, I'm cut a piece of cardstock. This one coordinates obviously. It's River Rock. Um, I cut it two and a half by six inches and then it's scored at three quarters at three inches and then at five and one quarter inches. All right, so well, this is what you're going to do. You're going to fold it in half, fold it in half, and then you're going to fold these little flaps, one towards the front, one towards the back. So you end up with a little T looking shape like that. Now I put a little bit of snail on mine just to hold it down here, just a tad, but you want to leave room because that gift card's got to fit in there. Got to give it room to slide in this way. So just put a little bit of snail there. And then you can use snail or sticky strip, Tombow, whatever you'd like to use to adhere it to your card. What you'll do is you open up your card, open up like so. And then I try to center it so that it fits right in the middle, right there, like so. So push it to the back and then bring this little flap to the front like so. And voila! There is your little flap. Alright, now how do you get the little pocket? I know you're wondering. I'm going to show you. Okay, so I have taken and adhered my little flap card holder to the inside of my stocking. I took my word window punch. Really, really simple technique. I went in to the center and I punched and then I moved it to the right and punched and to the left and punched till I got it wide enough and I believe me try it different widths each time before I get it right so you're just gonna have to kind of eyeball that one just so you get it so your card will fit into the pocket and it slides right in hopefully only if you're making a video <laughs> Okay, it slides right in. Ta da! There you go. Alrighty, so that slides right in. And like I said, you can put your to or from, to and from on here from the Dear Santa set. You can write a quick little note. But it's a simple, easy gift card holder to make. And I am sure people would be thrilled to get them. So, there you have it. That's my project for today. I hope you like it, and I hope you come back again soon. Um, please stop by and visit me on my blog. I would love to see you uh, see your comments. So thank you so much and I'll see you again soon.
Have a magical day.